guys, what is up? Red Pen Mining here. Hi guys, all doing? Hope you all doing really well and have a really great day. In this video, I just want to show you guys the absolute core clock feature in Windows using T-Rex Miner 0.20.4. All right, this was released back on May 26th of 2021. And so the parameter that we are going to be trying today is this dash dash lock dash C clock. Okay. So this should be pretty cool parameter to lock the GPU core clock speed. Okay. So this is using the latest version of T-Rex miner. You guys know this is a pretty infamous miner for mining with Nvidia cards as of, I would say the last half year or year now with Nvidia cards. This is one of my favorite miners to use on all of my RTX cards. Okay. Before I begin, I just wanted to give a shout out to Mr. Seb's FinTech channel. Mr. Seb Heslo here. He is an awesome dude. Very knowledgeable and super funny as well. You guys should definitely go subscribe to him. I'll have a link down below. He is almost at 2k subscribers. All right, so let's get him over that number. And yeah, he actually did a video already on the T-Rex miner in Windows. And he did an example with his, uh, I believe, 1660 Super Rig. So you guys should definitely go, go check him out and see for the results that he got. Pretty pretty awesome Mr. Seb Heslow. Thank you so much my friend. He also gave me a shout out in his video so I'm gonna give a shout out to him in this video. So guys go subscribe to him. Thanks so much man. Okay going along guys. So I did make a video regarding the absolute core clock in Hive OS a couple weeks back about lowering the wattage on Nvidia GPUs in Hive OS with absolute core clock and it made a drastic difference on basically all of my Nvidia cards which I have all on Hive OS now. I am not really using Windows for my but I do have some test rigs on Windows but you guys can see I just want to quickly show you like regarding my RTX 2070 rig which was the most biggest difference that I found with the absolute core clock feature okay so I was getting you know roughly about 42 mega hash on those RTX 2070s and then you know about 123 watts for each card but then once we applied absolute core clock we dropped down to like actually I can show you here drop down to like 96 93 watts it's like insane. The whole rig, we dropped about 300 watts total, all right, combined off this one rig. So we've gained a lot more efficiency and also it helped out a bunch of my other rigs as well. Uh, you guys probably saw that video, but I, I did it on all of my rigs, even my 3070s, which also dropped a lot of power as well. Decent amount. Not as much as my 20 series cards. So that's one thing I noticed is with absolute core clock feature, I, I more so gained more efficiency on the 20 series cards and 16 series cards rather than my 30 series cards. Maybe my 3070s dropped maybe like another three, maybe seven watts. It really depends. Silicon lottery. But anyways, guys, enough of that. Let's go through the T-Rex miner in Windows. So I have an example miner here. I have a RTX 2070 Super, all right, and I have it on the watt meter kilowatt right now, and I am mining Ethereum at my just regular using the MSI afterburner settings. I'll show you guys right here. I'm using 58 power limit, minus 200 on the core, and uh, plus 800 on the memory, and then 70 fan. This can be whatever, but yeah, right now you guys can see using the latest version of T-Rex Miner, I'm getting about 42 mega hash and about 124 watts. All right, so just to verify with you guys, all right, 150 watts there. Okay, so now we are going to apply the absolute core clock, the core clock feature. So simply, you guys, if you're going to be doing this, you just obviously download the latest version. I'll have T-Rex Miner website down below in case you want to download it, if you're on Windows, of course. Okay, so what I'm going to do here, we're going to right click the two miners batch file. Just an example here. And the first thing that you'll want to do as uh, you'll, you'll have to run this as administrator. So the best thing is, is to copy, you want to copy the string here of wherever you downloaded the T-Rex miner because we're gonna have to run this as administrator so you're gonna have to add that right here okay so I already copied it here but you guys can see uh, what I did I also have uh, quotes here as well just in case if you have spaces or something that uh, it just makes it all in one string okay so there you go that that's basically what you have to do and then the next step is we have to add dash dash lock and then dash C 
lock like that and then space and then we're gonna have to add what corresponds to the number that we want okay so on hive os they do have example here on their forum i'll have it linked down below as well you guys can look at it as well but the range of where we're going to be putting the the core clock feature okay so i have a 2070 super here so we're going to go between a thousand and 1050 so i'm going to do 1050 and we're going to see if that makes a, a, a considerable difference so let's do 1050 all right, that's all we need to do. We're gonna hit save. And now we just have to right click it and run as administrator. You're gonna hit yes. And now we should see, uh, let's see here, core clock locked at 1050 megahertz. So there you go. That is what you should see. All right, so that is good. All right, so we're gonna let this go and uh, let's see what the power consumption is now with the absolute core clock. Okay, so I'm just gonna go to the watt meter here. You guys can see, oh, we are now at 129, 130 watts. So before, before the absolute core clock, we were at 150. So wow, that's, we've dropped like 20 watts or so. Yeah, that's 20 watts. That's pretty good, right? That's pretty good. But are we gonna get the same mega hash number? So let's go back here. And it looks like it just finished a DAG generation using kernel number four. And we should see a mega hash number here in a second let's just wait for it okay there we go 42.76 mega hash so pretty much the exact same mega hash and you guys can see the power consumption here it says 108 in the software so before we were at like 124 125 watts so yeah there you guys go we dropped like 19 watts that's that's amazing right we were at 150 now we're at 130 so there you go. We're at the same mega hash number here. Actually, one thing I wanted to try was since I have minus 200 core in MSI Afterburner, I want to try and put zero and I want to see if that makes any difference. Okay, so I put zero in MSI Afterburner and oh wow, actually it looks like we dropped another watt, another two watts or so. We're at 128 now. Oh, 127. Okay, we a little bit there, but if we go back to the screen in the software, I wonder if that's going to show a little bit better. Let me just see at the wall here. Yeah, 128. All right, let me go back to the screen here. And uh, oh, yeah, there you go. 106 watts. 106. So we were at like 110 before, and now we're at 106. So bumping up the core back to, I guess, essentially zero, it it looks like it knocked off another three or four watts or so, but at the wall it knocked off, we were at like 130, 131 watts, now we're at like 128, so there you go, like, it looks like, uh, yeah, at the wall we dropped two or three watts, not bad, not bad, so yeah, if you guys are doing this, I guess, uh, try it out, see if you can just start at zero, and uh, actually, I wonder if we go to 100, and let's hit plus there, I wonder, will the power go down even more? Uh, so I, I put up the core to 100. All right, so now let's see. Uh, the power consumption, yeah, it's still about 129, 128. Okay, so I don't think uh, that I don't think that changed too much, but it looks like, yeah, we're still at 106 watts in the software. Same mega hash, all right, same mega hash. Yeah, so 105 now, 105 watts as we're going up in core. So, huh, interesting. In MSI Afterburner, of course, I guess. Uh, interesting, interesting. Let's go back to the wall. 135, 131. Wow, looks like the power jumped up a bit. You know what? I'm going to go back down to zero. I think that was better. And yeah, there you go. I put the core back down to zero just to show you guys. And uh, yeah, we're back to a 128, 129. Okay, I think that's the most efficient setting I'm going to keep this 2070 Super at. But there you guys go. Pr pretty simple, to be honest. And I guess, you know, in MSI Afterburner, you, you, you we're using MSI Afterburner in conjunction with the batch file command, the lock dash CC lock. Okay, so uh, I mean, it's I think generally for most people that are mining in Windows are going to be using MSI Afterburner anyway. So I think, yeah, this is good. This is really great to use along with this batch file command and MSI Afterburner. And also you can save your profiles. If you're a gamer, you can simply just go back to stock, right? And uh, just do mining that way and then just go back to gaming. And then if you want to mine, just go back to your efficient clocks. So you can save your profiles here, okay? And just apply it like that. And then run T-Rex Miner as administrator and there you go. You got your super efficient mining Ethereum 
on your existing graphic card. Now, like I said in the beginning, not all GPUs will be able to knock off this amount of power uh, to get this efficiency. Like, like I said, I noticed that the 20 series cards and 16 series cards were more so able to get more efficient numbers than the 30 series cards. So if you guys have 30 series cards, you may not notice a big difference, but you will get some. You will get some at least if you're in Windows or Hive OS, like I, like I showed you guys earlier. Okay, so there you guys go. Thanks for watching. Let me know your thoughts. I'll have all the links of the software and uh, down below and all that stuff. And thank you to Mr. Seb Heslow, guys. Make sure you go subscribe to him. Really appreciate this guy. Go subscribe. Link down below. All right, I appreciate you all. Have a good one and peace out.